The following video is going to outline a seven minute routine that is designed to stretch the muscles that directly influence low back pain. The muscles that you will be targeting will be the psoas, also known as the hip flexors, the glutes, the hamstrings, and lastly your thoracic spine or the mid back. And we'll start this routine from a seated position. This movement will start by sitting at the edge of your chair. You're going to fold one leg over the other and slightly push down on your knee. Then you're going to start folding your chest over your crossed leg and hold it for one, two, three seconds. That will count as one rep and you have to do a total of five reps. Once you're done, you're going to switch over to the other leg, folding the leg over the knee, pushing down on the knee and collapsing the chest over the folded leg. And you'll hold for one, two, three seconds. That will be one rep and you will do five reps total. The next stretch is known as the world's greatest stretch and you're going to start by taking a big step forward and placing both hands down on the inside of the foot. When done correctly, your hips should not be up high in the sky. This should be low to the ground. Once you're in the proper position, you're going to bring your elbow in down to the ground and then you're going to open up your body reaching your fingertips to the ceiling. As you open up, try to get that movement coming from your mid back and not so much through the shoulder. You'll bring both hands back down to the ground and shift your body weight backwards. You'll be pointing your toes up towards the ceiling and you should feel a deep stretch in your hamstring. And from here, we'll repeat the process. We drop that elbow down to the ground. We open up our body, reaching our fingertips towards the ceiling. Bring our hands back down to the ground and shift our body weight back, pointing your toes up. And that was two reps. The recommendation is to do five reps per side. Next, we have the half kneeling hip stretch. To begin, take a step forward. What you want to avoid is your foot being directly under your knee the way you see here. Instead, bring your foot in front of your knee. You're gonna tuck your hips under you and then you're gonna push your hips forward. When done correctly, you should feel a deep stretch in your hips and in your quads. You're going to want to rock in and out of this position for a total of five reps per side. You're now going to come back to neutral and then you're going to open up your foot to about a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to square your shoulders forward and you're going to rock in and out of this position, pushing your knee over your toe and driving those hips forward. After five reps of this, you're going to come back to neutral and you're going to open up your leg to 90 degrees. You're going to maintain your shoulders squared forward and you're going to push your hips. You're going to shift your body weight and your knee over your toes, getting a deep stretch on the inside of your leg, the inside of your quad, and continue rocking in and out of this position for a total of three reps. We're going to repeat the entire process on the other leg. So you're going to step forward, making sure your foot is out in front of your knee. You're going to tuck your hips under you and then you're going to push your hips forward, driving your knee over your toes, holding it for one, two seconds coming out and pushing again pushing your hips forward holding it for one two seconds and then coming right back down to neutral opening up your legs to 45 degrees keeping your shoulders squared forward you're going to push your knee over your toes and hold this position for one two seconds and then rock back again push the knee over the toes and hold for one two seconds and rock back Open up the leg to 90 degrees, square your shoulders forward, push the knee over the toes and hold for one, two seconds and rock back. Again, push the knee over the toes and hold for one, two seconds and rock back and come back to neutral.